Hi everyone. We did conduct our project on Tree Fresno, a local nonprofit that emphasizes conservation, cultivation, and community. And it definitely emphasizes going green in this day and age here in Fresno. Our team consists of Cassandra, Jonathan, Megan, Joey, and myself, Parmita. And we worked together to make sure that this nonprofit grew in terms of its social media capacity. So a lot of you are a little bit unfamiliar still with what Tree Fresno is. And what they really emphasized every time we met with the CEO Lee is that he'd like it to be a resources for anything you could think of trees that you would go to Tree Fresno in the Fresno area. So let's say you want to plant a tree, you would go to Tree Fresno and consult them. If you want to donate a tree in the memory of someone you've um, lost, you could also go to Tree Fresno. And of course, one of the most popular and transparent events that they have in this area is Christmas Tree Lane. So they do conduct a lot of different events and have a lot of different missions. But their real purpose is just the regional resources for trees, trails, and green belts. And that's really what they wanted us to help emphasize and advertise through our different social media efforts. And their mission is to mobilize resources for their five strategic priorities to achieve big goals. So yes, that sounds very generic, but together we will go through this presentation and it'll definitely help shed some light on what ways our social media campaign helped um, trans transform their goals to be very public and available through social media. So Tree Fresno already had a Facebook with about a little over 500 followers, and it was already being posted on pretty regularly. So we helped them with that by showing them how to create events for their different projects going around in the area. And we created a Pinterest for them, so they would have the visual aspect of the, their social media toolkit. And they already had a Twitter, which was already being posted on regularly, so we didn't really deal with that. And they had a professionally designed website, which we didn't have access to, but it already had a lot of information on it. It was being run by someone. Okay, so for the next level, we wanted, like, that website, it's great and all, and we didn't have access to, uh, edit, to editing it or modifying it at all. But we did want, like, a big thing that Lee was emphasizing with the CEO was that he wanted just traffic to that website to so be this regional source for information. So for that project, we had to use a social media tool and just make something for our nonprofit. This is what I chose. And I think it just like shows that even something that's small can have like a big effect. So I made this QR code and it was it was easy, it was pretty easy. Just find what picture you want, and it makes this kind of interesting looking QR code. And this will take you through your QR uh, app uh, directly to the domain of uh, the Tree Fresno website, which I thought was a really cool idea. And What's great about this is that they can put this on anything. So I'm, I just send leave the link, I mean leave the file, this file, and you can put it on any flyer you want. So it, and we used it for our Instagram contest that Cassandra's gonna talk about later, and gonna put it on the website, Facebook, everything, to where you can just easily access their website, even if you don't know what this is. You're like, oh, here's a QR code, picture of a tree. One little take me to sense of adventure, um, and I think this will really be great for Christmas Tree Lane because that'll get that's a huge program. People say, okay, here's a flyer, Tree Fresno, who, who are they? I'll look at this QR code, and it'll take them to the website. And that's just a big way to get traffic for that website. And I think that'll help Tree Fresno grow in a big way in their social media. Okay, the next one. Um, I have previously used Animoto before, and so I had a, a, an account, and I decided, what better way to actually utilize one of my social media skills than by making an Animoto video for Tree Fresno? What's great about Animoto is that it's an interactive way that people learn nowadays. I mean, we constantly go to movies, we constantly watch TV. It's something that we do. So if you make a video, that's something that people are interested in. And so that's an immediate attention grabber. And so with, if we have a video on Animoto, which I make, we are um, implementing it on the website and many, different, and many other things like Facebook and Twitter, hopefully to help spread the word and sort of get an interactive funnel to it. So here it is.
go ahead and stop it there, but it's pretty neat. Megan just used pictures um, on the internet that was already there um, from Peter Fresno, and it was neat because um, like we, we showed it to me. It's like, oh, I saw myself in the picture. I really liked it. So it was really neat. She did a great job with that. Um, so moving on, we did the Tree Fresno Instagram contest, um, which some of you might have participated in or liked the pictures at least. Um, so um, just like Bulldog Pantry, we use Instagram. It's a great way to just get people involved visually and just seeing what's going on with Tree Fresno. And so what we did is we saw this great potential to do Instagram contests as a way to promote specific trails or volunteer events um, that are uh, related to Tree Fresno. And what we did is we called it our trial run um, just to get a feel for how a contest will go and um, see if there's any bumps along the road and just test it out. So we did it um, just campus-wide. We ran it for a week. Um, this is the flyer we sent out. You might have gotten an email from Dr. Chapman. Um, and so we, we tried to make it as simple as possible. Um, the rules included following Instagram, um, just to get more followers. And then um, all they had to do was post some tree, flower, anything they saw on campus, using hashtag TreeFresno, and that would be our way to look at it. And um, we just said that the most likes would win. Um, and actually, the first place winner had 60 likes. So it's pretty neat to see that 60 people who might not even go to Fresno State, they got to see about Tree Fresno and maybe hear a little bit about what that organization is doing. And there you can see Jonathan's um, QR code. Um, pretty cool. So anyone who saw the flyer, they're like, oh, I want to know more about the website. Um, it's as simple as just scanning it into their phone. And so this is just an example of what the Tree Fresno uh, profile looks like. So you can see uh, by the end of the contest, we had 22 followers, which starting from zero, <laughs> we were pretty excited about. Um, my first post was just to nobody, <laughs> but now people are following it. And of course, it's linked to the Tree Fresno website. Um, so again, just pushing that to get more traffic there. Um, and this is actually the second place winner, Carly. You might know her. Um, and she got 49 likes, so we just know a lot of people were getting to check it out. And these are just some screenshots from the Statagram that I created also, um, which Richard had talked about. And it's just a great way to keep track of um, our Instagram traffic or followers, likes, etc. And then preparing for the future. Um, so I don't know if some of you have been following along, but we created the Simple Booklet Toolkit. Um, simple Booklet is just a thing I found. I wanted to make a digital toolkit, and it was pretty simple. It was free to sign up for, um, and that's the website. Uh, it's free. Of course, if you want more access and to use it better, uh, you can pay $3, which isn't too much. So. Uh, something to explore, definitely, especially for nonprofits. Um, and then that's just a screenshot of what you can see. And like I said, um, I encourage you to just check it out. Um, just a great summary of what we've been doing. Um, and it was fun to make and really easy to use, so I definitely recommend it. And lastly, we've talked a lot today about sustainability, wanting to make sure that all these efforts that we really worked hard to maintain and create this semester were continued. I know we've talked a little about Hootsuite this semester, so one of the biggest challenges Tree Fresno has experienced is just the change of staffing per, you know, per quarter, per semester, whatever it is, when interns come in and then they leave after the semester. So we want really to set up um, Tree Fresno up, to, up for success for not only this semester but for the future. So we developed a platform through Hootsuite. They already have really successful Twitter and is now Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest accounts. So now when they go through these transitions, that intern can prepare the account for a few months in advance and they will have all the postings ready. Because I know with a lot of nonprofits, they do face this challenge. There's a lack of staffing, lack of resources to fund these people, so they rely on a lot of interns work. They can't be there every day, but now their Hootsuite account and their social media accounts will reflect daily interactions and daily activity. So they never, again, will experience a dull of lack of interest or activity on their social media accounts. So we really feel that after we created this Hootsuite account, it was a great way to set up Tree Fresno up for success in the future and for all our efforts to be continued after we have ended this project this semester. And that's about it. Thank you.
to see the booklet? Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm very impressed. I mean, you guys did an outstanding job. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this is the booklet, um, and so it's just basically a more in-depth version of our Prezi. Um, and this is online. Yes. So anyone can have access to it 24/7. Yeah, and then I I just found this like a couple of days ago, so I was still figuring it out. Um, they have like a publishing option, and I tried publishing it. Um, I was still needing to figure that out. But Simple Booklet is set up to make it really easy to promote. Like, it was kind of hard to see in the screenshot, but they say it's a way for small businesses to market like larger big businesses. Um, and it's, it's free, like I said, to originally sign up. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of exploring it still, still figuring it out. Um, and I actually emailed a link that didn't quite work, but then when I did it on the discussion board, it worked. So like I said, I'm still figuring it out. So yeah, we just um, talked about that. Um, this is just in depth, um, the Tree Fresno mission statement. Um, and then like we talked about what we did, so, like us assessing it, updating it. Um, so yeah, it's just a neat little way to um, present everything. Um, talked about more about Instagram and the Hoot Suite. And so just a brief little thing. Um, but in addition to just using it for this class, it'd be an easy way for Tree Fresno to share information like for example, we talked about wanting to promote um, tree donations, like people can donate a tree in someone's name. So they could do a little informational, simple booklet about that, and what the process is, and they could share that on their website. So. Any other questions? 